And whilst I was at the ESC meeting in Barcelona, I presented data on the cholesterol treatment trialist collaboration, which is a meta-analysis of the large randomized trials comparing statin versus placebo or more in intensive versus less intensive statin. What we found was that in the first year after starting a statin, statins cause around a 7%, 7% relative increase in the risk of muscle symptoms. Muscle symptoms are very common in, in everyone, whether they're taking a statin or not. But the difference between the two groups, between statin and placebo, was extremely tiny. It was less than 1% in absolute terms. So we can show once and for all that statins really do cause muscle symptoms, but the risk is absolutely tiny. And after the first year, the risk is zero. Uh, there is no excess risk that we found after the first year. The additional analyses we did did suggest that the risks are slightly higher with higher intensity treatments and there might be a slightly longer persisting risk. What we need now is for much better labelling of statins so that these risks are much clearer for patients when they read the, the label. Uh, and we also uh, need, uh, uh, in the clinic, doctors to be much more confident in keeping patients taking the statins and not recommending that they stop them straight away when they get pain.